Hello, this is Tracy the Artsy Gardener. Thanks so much for watching. In this video, we are going to do some winter sowing of some seeds. I've never done this before, and my garden club was like, let's do an experiment, let's try this out. So I'm gonna tell you guys how to go about doing it, and then I'll do a follow-up video in the spring so you can see how it actually worked out. In the pamphlet that I got from my garden club, it did say to use milk jugs. I had cider jugs, so that's what I used. So all you have to do is cut drainage holes in the bottom because these jugs are going to be going outside. So I cut drainage holes in the bottom, unscrewed the top part where you pour out the uh, contents of whatever's inside the jug and uh, filled it with soil, leaving a little bit on the back as a hinge. So here with this orange juice container, I left like the whole side and then just used it as a hinge. And then that's it. You just fill it with soil and then leave the top parts open. I think it'll work out pretty good. So we'll see. I mean, time will tell. But I also had some other big, large, recyclable plastic pieces. So I just cut a hole in the top, uh, put holes in the bottom for drainage. And then these lids just lift right up and I just put some soil in it. So I think they'll work as like perfect little greenhouses. I'm excited to try this out. These are the seeds that I got from the garden club. Uh, the dwarf 10 week mixed colors. I've never used this seed before, but I like the way it looked. So I'm going to try it out. Here are all of the seeds that I collected this fall. I'm so excited. I got all of these seeds from my garden, so I'm going to try a few of them out. Here's the supplies that you will need. You'll need the plastic milk jug, soil, seeds, tape, and a marker. Simple, simple, simple. All right, so the first seeds that I'm going to be sowing are the ones that I had gotten from my garden club. I am looking at how tiny they are and I'm like, wow, okay, how many am I gonna do? So I just poked some holes with a pencil or into the soil, just a little bit down. And then I sprinkled more than one seed in each hole just because I figured, you know what, um, more chance of germination to happen. Uh, when filling the soil, you also want to just fill it just below the cut line near the bottom enough that you can get roots but not too much soil that they're not going to have room to grow the plants once i covered up all the seeds i then was ready to tape up the slit that i had made around the jug so i just taped it all the way around and then i took my sharpie marker and i labeled what plant was in there and then also what number container and then i put it into my garden log book just in case the sharpie disappears with all the elements of being outside i've heard it's very common for that to happen before i brought the milk jugs out i did spray inside with water to moisten the seeds to get them ready and they're good to go so i placed them on the side of my house next to an air conditioning unit i mean let's be real here it's not the nicest view but making a greenhouse out of a milk jug isn't the best thing to look at anyways so on the side of the house they go and i am excited to see how they fare during the winter and i will keep you updated so make sure that you subscribe to my channel because i will do an update of this thank you so much for watching i'm tracy the artsy gardener i am an artist i do have my work for sale in my etsy shop the artsy gardener 29 so have a look thank you so much enjoy the rest of your day and if you're not out there doing something artsy get out there and do something artsy